Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, uh, Enhancing the Guest Experience Throughout the Entire Travel Journey. This webinar is presented by SkyTouch Technology and Whistle. Um, I'd like to introduce to you today's speakers. Um, today, we have Jason Wood, a uh, sales engineer uh, with SkyTouch Technology, and Jonathan Rojas, uh, the co-founder of Whistle Messaging. Um, let me tell you a little bit about our speakers today. Uh, Jason Wood has been a sales engineer with SkyTouch for six years, and he brings his expertise to hoteliers worldwide through SkyTouch. Um, prior to SkyTouch, Jason started his career in front office operations, managing everything from revenue, reservations, and guest services, including the front desk. He was a bellman, he was a valet, and he was a member of the concierge staff as well. His operations management experience uh, at extended stay, full service, luxury, and convention hotels provides powerful insights with firsthand hotelier experience to SkyTouch team members and customers. Um, Jonathan comes to us from Whistle, um, which is the leading guest messaging platform for hotels. Jonathan began his career in corporate sales and consulting, where he spearheaded several projects for leading Fortune 500 companies. After realizing the corporate world wasn't well suited to him, Jonathan ventured into the trending tech startup scene in the newly forming Silicon Beach area of Los Angeles. He joined a few early stage SaaS startup companies and had a hand in expanding their market share as well as raising um, next level capital per, to propel their growth. After a stint in Silicon Beach, Jonathan teamed up with his co-founder, whom he met during his college years at La Jolla Marymount University, and Whistle was born. Jonathan is actively involved in the hospitality tech scene and is also a member of HFTP's Young Professionals Advisory Council. Next, I want to go ahead and go over the agenda for today. First, we're going to cover um, enhancing the guest experience. Next, we're going to talk about the benefits of task management and workflow automation. After that, we're going to discuss how you can create and engaging communications through multiple touch points and the advantages of doing that. Uh, we'll discuss the benefits of um, hotels and guests. And then we'll discuss how you can utilize AI to better tailor your guest experience. Finally, we'll summarize the presentation today and look at um, our key takeaways, and then we will have an opportunity for everyone to go ahead and um, have a Q&A time with us. Now, before we jump into our first to topic, I want to go ahead and remind you that you don't have to wait until the very end to send us your questions. During the webinar, please feel free to submit a question via uh, your chat window in WebEx. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Jason, why don't you go ahead and talk to, uh, talk to us on why we need to consider improving the guest experience. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I think we've all experienced this either from the hotelier side or as a, a consumer out there. We all recognize the value of having a positive guest experience. Um, there have been several studies out there. Here's a few from American Express, Price Waterhouse Cooper, McKin and McKinsey, uh, with some t statistics to really back this up. That you know, guests who have or consumers who have a, a great positive experience, they're much more likely to stick with you. They're much more likely to pay a premium for your products or services. Uh, they're much more likely to add on uh, products or services from what they might be buying. So. You know, as this translates to hotels, this might be a, simply a guest who's deciding to return and stay with you and to continue to do business with you, or perhaps, you know, uh, take on some of your other services there. If your hotel uh, offers any other extra amenities or food and beverage or, um, you know, spa services, experience services, I think having just a, a, a great stay also encourages that guest to want to go and experience and trust that they're going to have a great experience in your the other areas of your your hotel. Um, these are some great studies here, and one of the highlights here, or uh, first ones here, 33% of Americans consider switching. This just speaks to again the importance. So, people who have a bad experience are very likely to to leave your service. So, you know, we don't want just a 
good experience, we really want a great experience because we want to retain them. It's a lot easier to retain guests, get them to come back with us, I think, than uh, to have to constantly market and find new guests. Uh, and then, of course, nowadays in, in the world of online surveys and reviews, you know, you have to have a positive experience uh, for all of your guests because one bad one goes out there on a website and then you've got, you know, guests who may be skeptical of wanting to book with you. One of the great ways of kind of enhancing or, or improving this experience really is to be able to communicate with that guest you know, throughout the entire process from the moment they book with you uh, to the moment they've checked out and beyond. This is a great study here. Um, actually, it was conducted by Whistle. So uh, maybe I'll let uh, Jonathan here speak to some of these statistics. Um, but as we know nowadays, many guests are, you know, a lot more people are on their phone and actively engaged on their phone. So text messaging uh, is a really powerful way to communicate and you know, begin that positive experience and keep that going throughout our entire interaction with guests. Yeah, thanks, Jason. Um, so to touch on this a little bit more, um, when it comes to communicating the hotel business, we find that 54% of US social users said they prefer messaging channels over email, phone, and online chat. Um, it's an instant communication. It's something that we utilize in our day-to-day -day, you know, communication with other friends and family. So why not have the ability to communicate with the hotel that you're looking to book your stay with, you know, via messaging channels such as SMS and other channels out there. It's instant real time communication. Um, and then from March case studies, we also found that hotels see a 24% increase in service recovery opportunities by messaging directly with guest. Um, we also see an up to a 15% increase in the scores within the months of utilizing of the hotels that we power. So some of the biggest trends in hospitality that we see is getting those negative reviews, right? We have tons of travelers coming to our hotels, spending days and nights stays there, but a lot of times we don't hear from our guest. So having an open line of communication is really, really important for your hotel. When we don't have an open line of communication with our hotel and we don't know what our guests are feeling, what they're saying and what their experiences is at your property, this can lead to negative reviews. Therefore, having negative reviews ultimately can impact your bottom line. As you can see here, we have a statistic saying that hotel ranked number one on TripAdvisor earns 56% direct bookings more than the hotel that's ranked number 40 in that same city. So it's really important to work on your presence, um, to work on your online reputation, as well as having an, all, uh, an open line of communication with your guests by utilizing a messaging platform. Uh, another key feature that we see um, here is ancillary revenue. So having an open line of communication allows you guys to increase your revenue through these interactions with your, that you're having with guests. So through messaging, we see tons of trends where guests are asking for early check-in, late check-out, tons of opportunity to capitalize on additional revenue for your property. Also having this open line of communication allows you guys to communicate with guests and possibly you know, opening the line of possibly having some direct bookings in the future through this messaging channel. Um, and then just talking a little bit more about some of the guest fall through requests. So, Utilizing our platform, we're a little bit more than just the messaging platform. We also have the capability of having interdepartmental communication with your teams, allowing your front office team communicate with, with housekeeping, engineering, as well as with each other. So everybody is on the same page and knows what's going on at the hotel. Our system also has the capability of allowing you guys to create tasks. So dispatching out work orders, service requests to these different departments of the hotel and having it in one unified inbox where you can actually track and see everything that's going on within your property. Um, this also helps with response times, right? How many of you guys have had the experience where you're just being overwhelmed with phone calls to the property? 
right? Sometimes a phone never stops ringing. It just keeps going off the hook. And, uh, you know, only one person can answer that phone at a time. Utilizing a messaging platform allows you to manage multiple conversations at the same time with multiple guests. Utilizing pre can responses, as well as our automate, automated responses and workflow, um, you can actually automate some of the simple responses like Wi Fi passwords, breakfast hours, pool location, gym location, you know, some of those frequently day to day questions that can simply be answered, um, you know, automatically. Jason, if you have I think these are a lot there. of great points. Yeah, these are a lot of great points that I think from <clears throat> from a hotelier's perspective, we've experienced a lot of these. You know, one of the big ones is first one getting negative reviews and the way that the product can improve that by giving us more opportunities for service recovery. Um, you know, how many times have we had or, or gone through a review on our hotel's website and seen a negative review? And first thing we ask and the first thing we think of is was this reported to the front desk? Did we have a chance to fix it? It's such an important uh, kind of step in the process that, you know, that's a question for many brand mandated surveys. They always ask, did you experience uh, a problem in your stay? And then the next thing they say is, you know, if yes, did you report that to somebody? Because we, we really want to have that opportunity. And I can tell you from experience, just providing that opportunity or having that and, and making an effort to make it better, even if we can't exactly fix the problem, does have a positive effect on our surveys. These are all really great benefits and outcomes from uh, implementing, you know, a, a good messaging platform or good process for communicating with our guests. So just to talk a little bit about some of the multiple touch points that you can utilize by implementing platform at a hotel. Um, so here's just a couple examples. We'll dive a little bit further into this um, in the next slides that we have to come as well. So just some of the ways you can automate, you know, some of the communication with a guest utilizing the integration between Whistle and SkyTouch. Um, you you know, the day of arrival or even before arrival, you know, confirming their reservation um, as well as asking the, them any specific questions. You can text guests to inform them that their rooms are ready. You can send follow up text messages after check in. You can text guests the day of departure and endless more opportunities as well. These are just different touch points of the guest stay that we can really follow and automate some of the messaging. So we'll go ahead and get into the next slide, which will kind of then I'll let Jason take over. These are all fairly, uh, maybe some of the most common or very, fairly standard uh, opportunities that we have to communicate with our guests. You know, and the great thing about these is actually with, with our PMS and the uh, whistle messaging, um, we have integration built. So for your staff, you know, they're making reservations, they're doing check-ins and check-outs. They're not having to perform extra tasks with uh, integration and with the whistle platform and its automations, your staff just does the same work that they're always doing. You get a phone call, make a reservation. Once that reservation is confirmed, it sends all this information over to whistle and then whistle can send out, you know, nice text messaging. It opens up that channel for guests to communicate uh, and respond back to the hotel if they need um, certain requests. You know, it just gives great opportunity. Of course, it, it's confirming that the reservation is made. Uh, and that occurs regardless of if this comes in from a phone call or uh, a website or um, Expedia or any number of, of, of opportunities for guests to book. Um, the next opportunity that we have is uh, maybe before uh, check-in or pre-arrival situation. This is a great place where hotels can uh, maybe promote themselves offer upgrades, offer, um, or simply just communicate that, hey, we have, you know, uh, these are opportunities for parking, these are your options, we have, um, you know, specials going on at some of our food and beverage outlets today. You know, these are totally customizable, so you can send out whatever kind of messaging content that you want to promote your property and its services. Uh, 
Um, of course, you can always have just a, a great simple pre-arrival message, just reminding them that they have a reservation coming up, check-ins at this time, um, you know, parking is here, here's the address and phone number if you need to uh, put it in your GPS or give us a call. Uh, really great way to just put that information out there. You know, oftentimes you know, we book reservations and airline um, uh, reservations and hotel reservations, all this in advance. So it's nice to get that little reminder text and have that information that I need, you know, right there, top of my inbox. I don't have to go searching back for emails for confirmation numbers. Um, another great touch point is actually upon check-in. So again, with the uh, interaction between SkyTouch and Whistle, we notify uh, Whistle in real time that a guest is checked in. So many hotels uh, will do maybe a welcome call to their guests. It's just you know a, a touch point. So with this platform and integration, we can sort of complete this quote unquote welcome call through a simple uh, text message. Just say you know this can be automated. Um, really with any kind of time frame, right, Jonathan? The typical is probably 30 minutes. After check-in, a guest may receive a text, you know, welcoming them to the hotel. Uh, we hope you enjoy your stay. We hope your room is great. Let us know if you need anything. Um, you know, really you can compose this message to be whatever it is you want. Uh, we see some benefit in uh, future touch points with maybe some point during their stay, mid-stay, or maybe uh, day before departure, the day of departure. Uh, and I'll let Jonathan talk about this because they really have a great, great feature that um, to help promote your property and, and capture some of that positive feedback. Thanks, Jason. So mid-stay and pre-departure a very, very important phase through, um, you know, journey. And one of the things that we've built here at Whistle to help hotels better operate their their properties as well as um, you know really hear some of the guest feedback is we've built a really cool survey feature that allows you to send out a mid-stay or pre-departure survey um, in the form of a text message to a guest kind of gauging you know how their stay is going so far so as you guys can see in this slide we have an example of one that just says just wanted to check in tell us about your stay so far please reply back with a score of one through ten so then you can easily gauge how the guest stay is going while they're still on property, right? You'll get real time guest feedback. So surveys, post surveys that, um, you know, we all know and love are great, but a lot of times those post surveys are pretty much after the fact of, you know, the guest has already left your property. The guest has, has already, you know, if it was positive, negative, if it was, if it was negative, they've already experienced that negative you know, experience at your property and there's not really much you can do because they've left. So utilizing and leveraging Whistle and SkyTouch and being able to know when the guest is either one midway through their stay or two before they depart, you can utilize the survey functionality to, to really reach out to that guest, find out how their stay is going, and then act on that specific feedback that you get from a guest. We've also built in some auto responses. So utilizing um, some artificial intelligence and machine learning, our system can detect the score and the sentiment of the score that's given back to the hotel. And you can actually automate specific responses over to some of these specified scores, right? So another way to promote your hotel and increase your online reputation and reviews is utilizing this survey feature because Whistle has integrations with TripAdvisor to make it easy for the guests to leave a review on your TripAdvisor page. We can also send over Google review links or really any other you know, links to sites where you would like to increase your online reputation based off of the score that the guest gives you, right? So if the guest responds back with a score of nine and 10 in this survey, you can automate a great response saying, we're so glad to hear that you're enjoying your stay. You know, thank you so much for your feedback. We'd greatly appreciate, you know, some of some of your feedback on our online channels, such as, and then, you know, you know, your TripAdvisor link or your Google review link that you can send out to that guest, ensuring that you guys are receiving positive reviews on these review sites. And then when you get a lower score that is not up to par, maybe an eight and below or a seven below, you don't have to automate a response or you can automate a response that, you know, is digging for a little bit more information. 
right? Trying to find out why the guest stay is not positive. So then this gives your property actionable data to, to really increase and provide a better level of experience, right? You guys now have an opportunity for service recovery. You know what the problem is and you're able to act on it before the guest checks out. Ultimately, you know, raising the guest's expectations as well as capitalizing on their overall, you know, experience at the property. So really utilizing this feature gives you guys an opportunity to increase, you know, your online reputation as well as capture some of that real-time guest feedback before they leave your property. I think some of the those automations and those triggers that um, they've done, I would have loved to have had that back in my days of managing guest services, you know, guest replies back, uh, they aren't having a great stay, notifies manager on duty, manager on duty can take action about, you know, on it resolve those issues before it is simply reported on a, uh, on a, a survey or a, a review online. It, it's really great to be proactive and have those opportunities to, um, you know, handle problems before it's too late. Yeah, great point, Jason. And just to touch on that a little bit more, we have a great admin dashboard that is, actually gives admins, hotel managers, transparency into what the guest is saying. Right, you can take a look at all of your negative feedback. You can take a look at your negative scores. Whistle has some really awesome analytics that provides you with um, sentiment based analytics. So we categorize messages. We tell you whether the messages have negative sentiment, positive sentiment, whether the guest experience or the guest is, you know, speaking positively about your hotel. Um, so you have a lot of that visibility of what's going on at your property through this messaging communication that you're having with your guest. Um, so just to touch a little bit more about uh, the next phase, we have post departure messages that you can send out or day of departure messages, right? Where you can build some kind of property loyalty with an offer to rebook, um, you know, in the future. So if they're looking to stay back at your property, well, this also gives you an opportunity for offering late checkout, right? So a lot of times guests that come on vacation, you know, would really appreciate a late checkout. A lot of properties do not capitalize on this revenue opportunity where you can charge an additional 20, $25 for an additional hour or two hours of late checkout. You know, we see that it's given away for free very, very often. But in our findings, we find that a great percentage of these guests are willing to pay for a late checkout and for the convenience of checking out late. So utilizing our messaging, we send over a, you know, a post departure message and checking in with guests say, hey, we see that you're checking out today. You know, we do offer checkout today you know, at 2 p.m. for an additional $20 you know, if you should like that. Whistle is a great upsell platform that allows you guys to um, capitalize this as well allows the guests to directly select that option through messaging, then your team will get notified to add that to the folio and charge the guest automatically through the system. So really great opportunity to capitalize on some additional revenue there. Um, it also gives you an opportunity to, um, for lost and found, right? Uh, we have some integrations with some lost and found companies where if an item is forgotten or lost, they're able to reach back out to the property and we'll let them know, hey, uh, we left a specific item at your hotel. I've seen a lot of different um, experiences where whistles come in, you know, in handy for this for hotels. People leaving their, you know, wedding rings behind, people leaving, you know, very cherishable items that they forget just because they're in a rush to get back home or to catch a flight or whatever it may be, you know, things like this happen. And being able to have an easy way or line of communication to, you know, to your hotel and find out whether that item is there, still safe, and then processing, you know, the shipping back over to you and being able to get that item back um, is, is really an important part and an important piece that we've seen as well uh, of the, you know, departure experience. So just to talk a little bit some of the messaging capabilities. So we, we've talked a lot about and experiences that we had throughout the guest journey, right, of being able to message the guests before, during, um, day of arrival, post check-in, mid-stay, and departure. Um, but our platform also offers the ability for team messaging that we talked a little bit about, task management, 
right? Being able to manage specific tasks and dispatch out tasks to other departments. Uh, we have something called workflow automation, what utilizes AI and artificial intelligence, or sorry, artificial intelligence and machine learning to automatically categorize um, messages. So all of our messages are being categorized and then you're able to actually set up specific workflows where our system will auto detect a specific request or work order that you guys can kind of see on the screen, right? This guest, John Smith takes his texts in, can we get some extra pillows placed in the room? Our system will automatically detect that and dispatch out a service request order to the housekeeping department for your team. So this is a great option that really automates the experience for your team as well as auto response to the guests, letting them know that they've notified housekeeping and that the pills will be placed in their room, right? So really simple experience here, very seamless, where uh, a lot of our machine learning and artificial intelligence, it's, it's taking care of a lot of the heavy lifting for the hotel team, right? Where your team doesn't even have to respond, doesn't have to dispatch out the task. Our system automatically does that for them, notifies the proper department, and then housekeeping's on their way to complete this specific service request. Uh, we do the same thing for work orders, right? If a broken toilet, you know, light bulb, whatever it may be, um, AC problem, TV not working. If a guest texts that in, you can create workflow automation so our system will automatically respond to the guest as well as dispatch that out to your engineers. And you can have it go out to a specific engineer to the entire engineering department and our system tracks all of that and gives you transparency and insight into you know, where that work order is as far as in the stage in the cycle that that engineer is working on that work order. Let's go into the next slide. Um, so just talking a little bit more about service recovery, right? We talked a lot about this um, that I didn't discuss that our system has is we actually have something called an unhappy alert. So this provides transparency to managers um, or really anybody at the property that's set up on these specific notifications. So our system is, again, utilizing machine learning. We're able to categorize and detect sentiment on messages. And based off of this categorization and the sentiment, our system will notify managers of a specific unhappy, you know, message that goes off within your conversations. So as a manager, you know, you're managing your hotel, you have multiple things that are going on. You can't necessarily always be monitoring whistle. That's going to be left for most of your front desk staff and your guest service team. But you'll be notified when guests are having an, you know, a, a negative experience. You're able to see some transparency into this. You're able to be notified real time of when a guest is having this negative experience. So as a manager, you can act on this or monitor and make sure that your team is acting on this appropriately. So you have, again, some great transparency here into service recovery opportunities and really hearing the guest voice while you, they're at your property. So you can better understand how to operationally run your hotel better and what some of, you know, some of the pain points are from some of these guests. Um, again, we've been talking a lot about the AI here. Our AI and our machine learning does is it categorizes these messages that we're receiving and we categorize every single message that we're receiving. So just some percentages, some kind of generic percentages where you can kind of see the biggest categories that we are getting in messaging. Um, you know, 30% are revenue generating opportunities. 24% of messages are within the dissatisfaction, right? Uh, range where those are service recovery opportunities. 20% uh, of messages come in the arrival and logistics phase. So you can see there's a lot of communication occurring uh, during the arrival and pre-arrival phase, 12% are work orders um, and service requests, right? Like towels, engineering related issues. 1% is Wi-Fi, 1% is lost and found, and 1% is cancellations. So you can see how the, our messaging um, is distributed amongst these different categories here. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for our Jason, did you want to add anything? 
I was going to say a lot of the analytics that you guys are doing is it can provide a lot of really great insight. Um, I think for managers at a property, I mean, it, it gives you the ability to look at where, you know, if you're having negative interactions, where are these, at, you know, especially with some of the task management, um, you can maybe find out if you're having room condition issues or if it's, you know, guests are unable to find your hotel or they're not, you know, uh, maybe being uh, service requests aren't getting taken care of our guest requests are getting taken care of, you know, a lot of the information that's been captured can really be used in some, some helpful ways. Um, you know, this is a great area, I think, of development where hotels have really um, uh, evolved, you know, in this past uh, five or 10 years. Uh, it's just the amount of data that we can capture and process is just really great. Uh, you know, as a former guest service manager myself, I love this stuff. Thank you, Jason and Jonathan. Um, so uh, what are the takeaways today? Uh, well, first, um, we have found out that a positive guest experience can help increase revenue, brand loyalty, and referrals for your property. Um, second, um, automated messaging provides an excellent way to engage with guests during their stay, and it can help your hotel staff reach more customers in a shorter time period. Third, uh, we've learned that a PMS and a guest messaging platform allow hoteliers uh, to enhance engagement throughout each stage of their guest's travel journey. Uh, and finally, um, utilizing artificial intelligence can help you identify trends, um, see the sentiment at uh, your hotel, and even uncover some issues in other points of data that you never thought existed. Um, so, uh, we have now reached uh, the Q&A portion of our webinar. Again, I want to remind everyone who is listening in, you can go ahead and send us questions via the Q&A window um, in your WebEx screen. And we've already received a couple of questions. Um, this first one is for both um, you, uh, Jason and Jonathan. Um, could you provide us with some additional examples of how you can upsell through a messaging platform? Yeah, actually, um, in preparing for this presentation, Jonathan and I got to talking a week or so ago and realized we have, a, we have an opportunity uh, to where they can upsell maybe based off of the rate plan that the guest has booked or room type. So, for example, guest books um, a reservation at your hotel and maybe it's all this information gets passed over to Whistle and Whistle now looks at and sees, you know, maybe based on a rate code or a room type, it can automate a message out to the guest, maybe offering, um, hey, you've booked a standard room, would you like to upgrade to a suite uh, for some incremental amount? Um, you know, maybe in the same way, I imagine with some of the, the intelligence, I think Jonathan can probably speak to this better than I, is, you know, maybe if a guest is requesting uh, something in advance, or they're saying, hey, it's our anniversary, we're, that's why we're visiting. If we're getting this information, you know, that I think presents an opportunity to where it may upsell and offer, you know, a, a romance package that your hotel sells. I think there's a lot of great opportunities and, and something that we just realized here in working, or a, a, I'll call it a mini enhancement that was made in the past couple of weeks was this recognizing room types and rate types. Yeah, exactly, Jason. Exactly, we've recently introduced um, one of the big key functionalities that a lot of customers were asking for is, you know, how can we utilize the upsell functionality to sell some of the different rooms that have been unsold, right? Um, some of our suites, uh, maybe a room with a view, um, a room with a hot tub, whatever it may be, the different upgrades that your property offers. We can now automate messages, you know, pre-arrival welcome messages based off of specific room type rate codes that we receive from the PMS, so from SkyTouch. So you can utilize our programs together to enhance this pre-arrival messaging experience, again, to capitalize on some of these upsell opportunities. Using Whistle, um, similar to what Jason said, right, uh, we actually have a marketplace that you guys can create. So if a guest asks for specific packages, right, romance packages, 
maybe they're celebrating a birthday, um, any of these additional amenities that you guys may provide at your hotel, you can actually send over a simple link and automate a response to the guest and have them, you know, select whatever package they want to purchase to make their experience more memorable. Okay, next question. This one's going to be for you, Jonathan. Um, could you please explain to us in a bit more detail how the lost and found features work? So we currently integrate with some companies as far as lost and found goes. So one of the companies we do integrate with is uh, Charger. Um, they have a great lost and found tool. What our system does is, again, utilizing some of the AI, you can actually have our system automate a response to the guest if you know we detect that it is a lost and found request that we're receiving. And what that will do is our system will automatically send a link that's linked to Chargerback system for them to fill out the information of the lost and found item. Um, so really streamlining streamlining the lost process there and after that it's really taken care of uh, through charger back and they process all of the additional items and they notify the hotel of that specific lost item so a great opportunity there to streamline the lost and found process okay next uh, question um, this is for both of you um, could you explain uh, to our listeners a bit more about how how they uh, would use whistle um, within uh, the SkyTouch PMS and how, um, what can they do within SkyTouch and how much um, do they need to do within the Whistle platform itself? So, uh, I'll start this one out, Jonathan. The, uh, with our integration right now, you really, are, you don't have to do extra actions in order to trigger, trigger these different messages or different actions in Whistle. So a lot of um, our, our integration with Whistle, our partnership has been built around us uh, it, from SkyTouch sending reservation information over to Whistle. So just by your staff making a reservation or doing a check-in or doing a checkout, it sends this information over to Whistle automatically done in the background. Your staff doesn't have to click extra buttons. Uh, and then Whistle takes this stuff, processes it, and then can appropriately send out confirmations and pre-arrival messaging or, you know, an arrival message 30 minutes after check-in, um, an arrival message, you know, the morning after the first night of the stay, you know, all kinds of different ways that you can imagine. Um, down the road, we expect to do a little more, maybe where we're Sky touches processing information from, from Whistle. I think, though, Whistle's platform is really so built out and they've got a lot of great features that you're going to want to access the platform itself in another browser window in order to do some of the more um, enhanced functionality that Whistle offers. Right, Jonathan? Yeah, correct, correct. So um, exactly what you said, Jason, our system receives a lot of the information from SkyTouch and then automates a lot of the messaging for your team so they don't have to do any of this work manually. It's all done automatically for you. Um, but you will have to access the Whistle dashboard to do any other specified features, as well as take a look at our analytics and really to see some of the, some of the transparency that's going on within the messaging within the hotel. So, yeah, that's pretty much the experience. Thank you. Uh, I want to go ahead and, and thank uh, Jason and uh, Jonathan um, for their time today. Um, if you are interested in um, what uh, Whistle and SkyTouch can do, you can go ahead and reach out to us uh, at Whistle. You can go to uh, www.trywhistle.com. If you're interested more in SkyTouch, you can go ahead and visit our website at uh, www.skytouchtechnology.com. Um, we are going to go ahead, we will be um, posting this webinar uh, by the end of the week uh, on YouTube and we will be uh, emailing everyone as well more information on how they can um, re go ahead and review the recording of this webinar and get more information about Whistle and SkyTouch. Again, I want to thank our presenters today and I want to thank all of our listeners for their time and we hope that you have a great rest of the day.